G'day guys, it's Billy here from lostreasure.com.au Well guys, it's now the next day after my last uh, metal detecting adventure here at the old rubbish dump. So, so just to tell you guys is where I've been raking and metal detecting and also finding some nice bottles and so forth. As I said in my previous video, this mound probably would have been, would have been about probably six mounds here. Uh, about probably five foot high each mound. So basically I've just raked it all back. But you know, there's a fair last bit. year I found this beautiful big beam of um, iron. And what I'm going to do today is uh, something different, guys. I'm going to use this beam as a uh, greater type scenario, but I'm going to tow it. So I'm just going to tow it behind the Land Cruiser. Hopefully it's going to work. I am making a huge risk, and obviously I could smash some good bottles. But, oh well, we'll see how it goes. But I'm also interested in finding um, some nice, you know, relics, coins, and anything worth um, money. So anyway guys, we'll take this off the back of the ute. This weighs, I reckon, probably would weigh at least 500 kilos, or 250 pounds approximately. It's pretty heavy, I had to put on the back of the ute using the hoist. So we'll get it off with the hoist again, and then we'll connect up the chain to the tow bar, and hopefully it's going to work. The only thing that I'm worried about is these tufts of grass. So that could kind of um, make it a bit hard because here's a tough right here, they're pretty hard. I mean, it's pretty pretty solid, so it could make the the plough thing bounce and all that kind of stuff. So we'll just see how we go. Hopefully the plough will just go over the top of it like that. But yeah, I'm only going to do this area here, guys. Just here. I'm not going to do all of it. I'm just going to, you know, um, probably do, um, I don't know, two 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 little trips back and forward uh, hopefully to work and that way we can you know metal detect hopefully find some nice relics hopefully i won't smash anything like clay pipes and um nice old dolls china dolls heads and obviously bottles but then again if i find some nice old number plates guys they're worth quite a bit of money so we'll get this off now it's just gone about 5 30 in the other i've got an hour and a half left of daylight And I'm just going to straighten it up, guys. There it goes, it seems to be working good. And now I'll just connect up both chains and we'll give it a go. Let's hope it all works. All right, guys, I've just connected up the chain. It's um, what you call dodgy, um, so it's just a rough estimate. Um, so anyway, we'll just see how it goes. If it works, I know probably what's going to happen is this is just going to flip this over, hopefully, and then it'll pull it all the way up here. And I'll go up near that, or just before that tree over there, and I'll do a U turn and then come back. Only thing obviously I've got to be careful of is uh, broken glass. Uh, my tyres are pretty good. A puncher, um, also iron, like horseshoes and stuff like that. There's plenty of iron in here. Anyway, you know, we'll just basically just go along this side here, just so there. Don't, don't go too far. And hopefully that end there will just grade away this sand here, nice and smooth. And then we'll come back, do a U-turn, one more trip.
Well, that far, guys, one of the chains broke, or not the chain, the hook, but I'm still not deterred because once we get going, we'll be all right. So we'll do that again, and it might actually be easier if I go up that way, do the U-turn, then come back down because it's a slight hill coming up. But anyway, we'll give it a go. Guys, Never give up. I've got it working now. It's a bit bouncy, but it should be all right. I've got some decent chain there too now. So I've just connected up to the back of the tow ball and also underneath the tow ball. And yeah, so basically from where that piece of tin is there, that's going to be the grading patch for the time being. So we'll see how we go. I'll set up the camera again. Well guys, another failure, this chain here um, broke, but anyway, this has been sitting out on a salt flat, so it's all been corroded by salt, so I've got, I've re reset it up again guys, with some more chain, so we'll set this up, the only problem I'm getting is kind of getting like bogged, it's pretty heavy this piece of iron, but that first bit worked really well. So we'll go back once more, hopefully, hopefully we won't, you know, hopefully we'll go for a right and then we'll see what we can find. Um, all the way up to, yeah. Oh, I'm not too sure. I've already metal detected this area here, but yeah, I might even, might even do it again because no doubt there's going to be marbles and groins and stuff that they've already missed. So yeah, and once my mate um, with the big Volvo front end loader, I'll get him to do a dig of um, over here. There's some bottles down there, but they're pretty crappy. I found some really nice bottles, some blue ones, but it's so hard, you can just see all the smashed glass, everything's broken. You know, there are nice bottles in there, but not the... I hope, you know, there are nice bottles amongst all this dump, but I'd say 90% or 80% of them is broken. But then again, there's plenty of coins and marbles and relics and stuff worth money, so... Yeah, it's just amazing. Even when you just look, guys, you can just see like, little relics. That's an old pearl button, even though it's broken. I won't keep it, but I come out here in the mornings usually and just go for a walk around. I don't metal detect and just see what surface finds I can find. I've actually got a 1952 penny I found today, just a surface find. That was a good, good um, score. But yeah, just around this area here, that's where I found that 1923 uh, half penny, and that's the rarest half penny. I sold it for about 400 bucks, but if it was in mint condition, it'd be worth, you know, bloody hell, anywhere from $50,000 to half a million dollars. So you just imagine what's in here, you know. It'd be nice to find a gold sovereign or something like that. But anyway, guys, I'll stick to my um, grading, and yeah always thinking of ways to bloody try and dig this um, dump because like I say a lot of asbestos and it's so dusty and yeah when my mate comes back out in his front end loader I'll get him to do this section here and that mound goes about probably 400 metres up that way there's more mounds over there um, but that's a really old section just over there where I found a nice Oh, some really nice old bottles, Warner Safe Cures, Perth Glassworks bottles. But unfortunately, there's so much sand over that area, you know. So I'll get him to do that one day. But yeah, this place, this old rubbish dump here has paid pretty well, guys, for me. Every time I come out here, I always find something nice. 
and this is just my sifting and just for you guys this is where I come do sifting sometimes when I'm in the mood and find marbles, coins, all that kind of stuff it's really easy to do guys just find yourself an old bed like this one with the wire with this rusty type wire and then cover it in the birdcage wire get the um, wire what's um, so a three pence coin can't go through it so that's perfect this will stop marbles and silver three pence coins and also guys I'll just show you that little not those two big rings there that little there's a bit of silver there I just found a surface one the other day that little tiny ring it's probably a pocket watch holder or something like that but yeah there's plenty of stuff there guys but it's just a matter of being patient you know sometimes I come out here and think Christ I just want to you know is it really worth it but it's so addictive and it's just you know it's good fun but like I say the only bloody thing what pisses me off about this dump is all the asbestos you know the worst thing about asbestos is in Australia and I think Canada too you know we've been drilled into our heads ever since we were little kids beware of asbestos my uncle my uncle actually passed away from mesothelioma about probably nearly 10 years ago he worked up in a, an asbestos mine up in Whitnone I've been there before but yeah everyone's fanatically scared of being exposed to asbestos even though it takes 30 years for it to actually you know be diagnosed or but yeah a lot of people um, these days are dying of asbestos even young um, people in the early 20s oh sorry yeah 20s but mainly it takes about 30 years so a lot of people in their mid to late 30s are starting to get diagnosed of um, mesothelioma these days unfortunately it's a pretty bad hazard but anyway guys bear with me we'll come back out tomorrow uh, common and we'll get that little plough set up properly uh, Saturday tomorrow so we've got plenty of time to muck around and yeah I reckon we'll definitely find some good stuff alright guys thanks for watching I really appreciate it and have a nice day wherever you are in the world thanks everyone see ya